Another day, another game-changing TikTok Live plugin. And this time, it is literally game-changing. This new integration will let viewers trigger any command in Minecraft by sending gifts. For example, they send sunglasses and it spawns two creepers. Or they send a confetti and it gives you four diamonds. Let's set this up, starting with the requirements. You can do this even if you just go live from your phone. However, you will need to be playing Minecraft from your computer. And it will definitely work best if you have a stream key or use Live Studio. First up, you need the Java edition of Minecraft, which you can get from the Microsoft Store. Next, you need Java version 17, and I've linked the Paper MC website in the description. And you just scroll down to Windows 10 and 11, and you click on this link here, which will download the Java 17 JDK file. Next, we need to set up a Paper MC local Minecraft server. This also works for Spigot and Bucket as well. I've linked this page in the description. Just scroll down to the website download page here and download the latest version of Paper, which for me is 386. Now, I strongly suggest you make a standalone folder for this because it's going to generate a lot of files. So what I've done is I put it on my desktop inside a Paper MC folder and we'll just save this jar file. But before we save it, I'm actually going to rename it just so it's paper.jar. And now we'll save it inside my paper MC folder. So I said it's going to generate a lot of files, but before we do that, we need to do a few things. So I'm going to click on view and I'm going to click file name extensions. Make sure that's checked. I'm going to make sure hidden items is checked as well. And I'm going to right click into the space, click on new and make a new text document, which is called run.bat. We have to make sure it's not run.txt. Run.bat. Yes, I want to change it. Once I've done that, I'm going to go back to the Paper MC website. So this one here and this text here, we're just going to copy and paste this text. So where do we copy and paste it? Let's right click run.bat, click on edit and then just paste it into this box here. This here and this here is the amount of RAM it's going to get. So I'm going to actually increase it to four gig of RAM instead of two. It's probably fine on two if you don't have much RAM. Once you've pasted that in, just control S to save and you can close out of it. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to double click run.bat and it's going to run some code here. Okay, so the code is finished running, but you probably noticed nothing much has happened. That is because we need to double click this eulet.txt document and change false to true. So we need to basically agree to the end user license agreement or whatever it's called. So we're going to change false to true. I'm going to go control S again and close it. And then once again, I'm going to double click on run.bat. As you can see, now it's complete. We've got all these files and folders, which is why I told you to put it in its own folder. But we do need to add a plugin that is going to let Tickfinity talk to your server. So I'm going to type stop into this box and then press enter. And it should close the command module after a few seconds. This plugin is going to link Tickfinity with your local Minecraft server. I've linked this in the description. So you want to download the jar file at the bottom of this page and we want to place it in a specific position. So click on it to start the download. Find wherever you've set up Paper MC and then go inside the plugin folder and save it here in the plugin folder. Just press save. Now I'm going to go back inside my Paper MC folder and click on run.bat again. And this should install our plugin after a few seconds. Now you will see these yellow warnings here. This is fine. This is only really an issue if you have a remote server. Now before we get to the Tickfinity setup, let's just make sure our server is actually working. So load up Minecraft Java, click on multiplayer, then click direct connection. And you want to type 127.0.0.1 and just click join server. And hopefully after a few seconds, it should load your shiny new Minecraft world. It's time for the fun part where we set up Tickfinity so that your TikTok live viewers can control your game with gifting. Tickfinity is linked in the description. So make yourself an account on the setup page if you haven't already. And then stay on the setup page. Make sure your username is typed in correctly and then scroll down to the Minecraft connection. And the defaults here should be correct. Just click test connection to make sure that it is successfully working. And if it's not working, again, just make sure you have double clicked run.bat and make sure you're connected successfully into your Minecraft server. It's time to set up some commands now and let's start with what's going to be the most popular one, which is spawning NPCs. So to set any of these up, we need to go on the actions and events page on Tickfinity. 
and we begin by creating a new action and giving it a name. So let's do what I mentioned at the start. Let's spawn some creepers. So I'll call it creeper spawn. And now there's a lot of checkboxes here. The most important one is the execute Minecraft command one. But before we get to that, there's a few other ones you might want to use as well. Starting with show alert user and text. If you're streaming from live studio or using a stream key, you probably want to use this. This will show the profile picture and the username of the person sending the gift. We can also show what gift they've sent and we can put on screen what they've summoned. So by default, it's already showing their profile picture and their username. So we have to type something like sent brackets gift name and I need to spell that correctly. So sent gift name and summoned a creeper. So if I now send a gift and summon a creeper, it's going to say Harry sent, let's say Rose and summoned a creeper. Let's change the color here if you want. I'm just going to change it to yellow. You can play around with the text settings and global overlay settings. That's not the focus of this video. Let's move on to this TTS one as well. And this can read out loud what happened. So it could literally read out loud. Harry sent a rose and summoned a creeper. So this time we do need the username prefix. So I'm going to put curly brackets username sent curly brackets gift name and summoned a creeper. And we can hit test to hear what it sounds like. So let's do that now. Username sent gift name and summoned a creeper. Sounds good to me. So let's move on to the fun part, which is execute the Minecraft command. So I'm going to put these commands in the description. So you're welcome to just copy and paste. So I'm just going to paste it into the box here. Currently what it says, execute at play name, run summon creeper, and then a load of these curly symbols and then custom name. So I'm sure this looks confusing. So let's break it down. So what it's currently doing is it's executing at player name. So I need to actually change the player name to my username inside the game. For me, that is WG underscore Mojo. I think it's case sensitive. So make sure you get that correct. And then run just means it's going to run a Minecraft command. And then we're going into our usual Minecraft Java console commands. So for me, this is obviously the summon command, which is going to summon any NPC. It's going to summon a creeper, this squiggle five, squiggle five, squiggle. This is relative coordinates. So this is going to spawn it five blocks ahead of me and five blocks up. And I'm spawning it up because I've noticed sometimes it can clip into the ground because the ground is obviously not flat in Minecraft. This bit at the end looks a bit confusing as well. What this is going to do is going to rename the creeper to the username of the person who sent the gift. So you can see which viewer has spawned the creeper. So again, if you've copy and pasted, the only thing you'll have to change is player name to your in-game username. I'm going to load the duration here to five seconds. I'm also going to crucially repeat with gift combos. So if they send two of the same gift, it's going to spawn two creepers. If you've not set up Tickfinity before, you might have this offline screen warning. Ignore it for now, but we will have to add the screen in a little bit. Let's press save for now. Let's move on to assigning the gift to this trigger. So I'm going to create a new event and it's sending a specific gift. And in the example at the start, I said we're going to use sunglasses to spawn the creepers. So I'll choose sunglasses off the list of gifts and trigger all of these actions is the creeper spawn action. And then we just press save. If you're just a phone streamer, your job there is done. However, we have an additional step for Live Studio or OBS users, and that is to copy the screen link here. So make sure the screen number here matches the screen number that your creeper spawn action is on. And then just click on the link to copy it to the clipboard. At the same time, increase the queue length to a thousand just in case you get sent a lot of gifts. If you're using Live Studio on the left, click add source, click on link and then paste in what you've just copied from Tickfinity. Make sure turn on sound is enabled. Change the custom resolution if you don't like the look of it and press add source. It's not going to show anything, but we'll test it in a second. If you're using OBS underneath sources, click the plus button, click on browser, give it a name if you want, like Tickfinity screen one and replace this URL with the screen URL. I'm going to click shut down source when not visible, press OK. And once again, it's not showing anything, but let's move on to testing it now. So to test this working, what I'm going to suggest you do is put Minecraft and Tickfinity side by side. What I'm expecting to see here is the text to speech is going to read out that the username has sent gift name and summoned a creeper. It's going to put some text on the screen and crucially it should summon a creeper nearby. So to test this underneath actions, you just press the play icon next to the relevant action. So let's test it now and it should start reading the text out loud. Test user sent gift name and summoned a creeper. Looks to be working. There's my creeper. 
it's just exploded on me. Now that basic summon command works for most NPCs. If you wanted to summon a different monster or NPC, all you do is change the creeper name to something else, like, you know, cow or whatever you want. However, for the ender dragon, I've found you need a slightly different command. So let's set up a command where we spawn an ender dragon with a gift. So to spawn an ender dragon, I'm going to create a new action and I'm going to call it just, I'll just call it ender spawn. And very quickly, I'm going to click show alert and it's going to say username and I'm going to put sent brackets, gift name and spawned ender dragon. And again, play around with the color and the overlay settings if you want. I'm also going to enable the text to speech again. So in actual fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy and paste that and I'm going to add the username at the start. So username, send gift name and spawn ender dragon. And the key thing we want here is execute Minecraft command. Once again, I'm going to put this in the description for you to copy and paste. So I'm just going to paste it in here as plain text. And you can see this time I've got this dragon phase zero thing here. If we just try summon ender dragon, the ender dragon doesn't move. And again, I also have to change player name to WG underscore mojo with a space. And it's going to run the summon ender dragon command. And this time I've set it to spawn 10 blocks directly above me. Once again, it's also going to rename the ender dragon to the name of the person who sent the gift. I'm going to lower the duration once again to five seconds. That's just the amount of time the text stays on the screen. I'll leave it on screen one. Once again, I'm going to repeat with gift combos. So if they send two of the same gift, it's going to spawn two ender dragons and we'll press save. Once again, I create a new event for sending a specific gift. You could alternatively go sending a gift with min coin values. For example, you could set it any gift over 10,000 coins would spawn an ender dragon. So let's just do that to be different. And I'll press save. If you haven't already, make sure you've added screen one as a link source to Live Studio or a browser source to OBS. Then let's test that the Ender Dragon spawn is working by putting Minecraft and Tickfinity side by side. We go back up to actions and we play our Ender Dragon Test action. user sent there we go. gift name and spawned Ender Dragon. The TTS is talking over me, but the Ender Dragon has now successfully spawned and it's flying about. And you can see a few seconds later now, the Ender Dragon's killed me and it says test user 123 has killed me. So it's going to show you the username of the person who spawned the NPC that killed you. Let's look now at how the viewers can give you any item. And we'll do the example that we did at the start of the video. I'm going to give myself four diamonds. So once again, I'm going to create a new action and I'm going to call it this time diamond spawn. And once again, because I'm streaming from a PC, I'm going to show alert user and text. And I'm going to say username sent brackets gift name and spawned four diamonds. Can't spell. There we go. And I can also once again change the color and the font settings with these options here. And we'll move on to TTS. The TTS is going to read it out loud as well. So I'm going to put brackets username. And then I'm just going to copy and paste from the show alert box like that. And the fun part is execute Minecraft command. And I've put this in a description for you. So in the description, the one I've put is to give you one diamond. So we start by changing the number one to the number four, because I wanted four diamonds. And this time we have to update player name in two different places. So for me, my player name is WG underscore Mojo. So I'll update player name there and I'll update player name here. Once again, I'm going to lower the duration slightly to about five seconds. And I'm going to repeat with gift combos again. Again, if they sent you two gifts this time, it's going to give you eight diamonds. And I'm once again going to save the action. Next up, we make a new event. Once again, we'll do sending a specific gift. And the example we used at the start was sending a confetti to spawn the diamonds. So I'll choose confetti as the gift. Obviously, I'll choose diamond spawn as the action and we'll save it. So once again, if you use TikTok Live Studio or OBS, make sure you've scrolled down to overlay screen settings and clicked on this screen one link and added it as a link source to Live Studio or add it as a browser source to OBS. All that's left to do is to test it. So underneath actions, click on the play icon test user sent, and you can gift see name and spawned four diamonds. And as you just heard, it has given me four diamonds. You can see them in my inventory. Let's look at another command now. And this one will just straight up kill you in game. So obviously you would want to assign this one to a high value gift. So let's set it so a TikTok universe will just immediately kill you from the game. So once again, I'm going to start by creating a new action and I'm just going to call it kill. And we are once again clicking show alert user and text. And I'm going to type sent gift name in curly brackets and killed mojo, which is my in-game name. 
could once again change the color with this option here and change the font settings with the global overlay settings. Once again, I'm going to use TTS to read it out loud. So curly brackets, username. Now I'm just going to copy and paste the line above. So the username sent gift name and killed Mojo. And the fun part once again is the execute Minecraft command box. And as per usual, I've linked this one in the description for you folks. So I'm going to paste mine in here and we have to update the username in two places. So where it says player name, replace it with your player username. So WG underscore Mojo for me, you need to add a space there. So execute at WG Mojo, run the command, kill WG Mojo. Once again, I'm going to lower the duration to about five seconds and repeat with gift combos. It wouldn't make much sense, but you know, if they do want to send two gifts to instantly kill you again, let them do it because why not? And press save. And anyway, they're probably not going to send you two gifts because the next step is to make a new event. Click on sending a specific gift and I'm assigning it to TikTok universe. So you're going to be very rich if they're going to send you back to back TikTok universes. We're going to trigger the kill action here and we just now press save. So let's test that this is working. Just put them side by side next to the actions. Click on test play. Test user sent and gift name can... and killed Mojo. And I keep talking over the TTS, but as you saw, I'm dead. Next up, let's make a fun command, which throws you 100 blocks into the air, which of course means you're going to die unless you have water. So to get thrown 100 blocks into the air, create a new action. And I'm going to call it teleport upwards. And once again, because I'm streaming from a PC, I'm going to show alert user plus text. And I'm going to put sent curly brackets, gift name and teleported mojo 100 blocks into the air, something like that. Once again, you can change the color here if you want. I'll change it to yellow. Play around with the global overlay settings to change what it looks like on the screen. And I'm going to get the TTS to read it out loud. So curly brackets, username. And we once again, just copy the show alert box. And we scroll down to the fun part, which is execute Minecraft command. As per usual, this is in the description for you. So just paste it in and we once again change player name twice to your own in-game username change it here and change it here and the key one here these are relative minecraft coordinates so it's throwing me i believe this is the y-axis it's throwing me 100 blocks above my current position into the air and once again i'm going to lower the display duration to five seconds and if they want to send multiple gifts it's going to keep teleporting me into the air so i'll press save here and now we have to assign it to a gift so i'm going to create a new event click on sending a specific gift and you can either type in your gift or pick one off the list. I will choose a train to teleport me into the air. Seems fitting, mode of transport and trigger all of these actions is of course teleport upwards and then we save. Final step, if you're streaming with Live Studio or with a stream key, scroll down to overlay screen settings. Make sure screen one is added as a link source to Live Studio or as a browser source to OBS. So now let's test that we're being correctly teleported into the air. So you just press the play icon test user here. Sent. And Gift name there we and go. teleport I'm into Mojo the air 100 the blocks into the air. Earlier. And we're now dead because I didn't have water. So that is using gifts to trigger Minecraft commands, but you can also trigger them by using TikTok chat commands. So for example, you could type exclamation mark summon creeper and a creeper would be summoned. This is often best linked with the channel points system on Tickfinity. So click on the setup page and tick the boxes to award your users channel points for giving coins as in gifts. You can give them points for sharing. You can give them points for chatting as well if you want. I'm just going to set mine to one point per coin. Once I've done that, I'm going to head back to actions and events and create a new action. And I'm calling this one summon command. And as per usual, because I'm on a PC, I'm going to click show alert user in text. And I'm going to type into this box, summoned a curly brackets comment. And I need to close the brackets properly. Once again, you can change the color if you want. I'll just quickly change it to yellow. And you can change the font settings with the global overlay settings. I'm also going to read it out loud using text to speech. So curly brackets username and then summoned a just copy and paste it summoned a comment. Let's get to the fun part once again, which is executing the Minecraft command. And what you can do for this is just copy and paste from the description, the one which spawns a creeper, and we just make a few changes. So firstly, where it says creeper, we just highlight creeper and change it to curly brackets comment and make sure you close the curly brackets. We once again change player name to whatever your player name is. For me, it's WG underscore Mojo. 
So now it's going to summon whatever the user comments and it's going to summon it five blocks ahead and five blocks above of me. And it's also going to give, for example, the creeper the username of the viewer. And I'm going to lower the display duration once again to five seconds. And we are removing points when the viewers trigger this command. So we set up channel points earlier. So one coin gives you one point. So if you want viewers who've only sent you over 100 coins to use this command, then we would just set it to remove 100 points from them. If they don't have 100 points, they're not going to be able to trigger the command. And if you don't want them to spam it, you just add a cooldown. So a 60 second cooldown would mean they can only summon something once every 60 seconds. This time we don't need repeat with gift combos because this is not related to gifts. And we now press save. Now we need to set up the actual command. So it's exclamation mark summon. So create a new event. And what you could do here is you could let any sub or only top gifters use it. I'm going to leave it to everyone because we did already restrict it to people who've sent 100 coins and above. So now we're going to click on commenting a command and the command is whatever you want, but exclamation mark summon makes the most sense. I'll leave this on level zero and the action we're triggering, of course, is the summon command and we press save. And once again, if you're streaming from a PC using Live Studio or a stream key, you want to scroll down to the overlay screen settings and make sure screen one is added to Live Studio as a link source or to OBS as a browser source. Now, if you've followed along so far, you'll know you can usually press this play icon to test it. However, we can't press it this time because again, if we look at the edit here, it's going to try and summon a curly brackets comment. And there's nothing in Minecraft called curly brackets comment to summon. So you either have to test this on your own live stream or on somebody else's live stream. And keep in mind, if you do test it on somebody else's live stream, you're not actually affecting their live stream other than you typing a command in their chat, which they might be confused about. So go on TikTok live and find an account which is live and go on the setup page and add its username in here and make sure it says live in the top left corner. And then what you want to do is put Tickfinity and Minecraft side by side and type into the chat exclamation mark summon and then the name of any NPC. So I am summoning a cow. And just while you're testing this, keep in mind we've set it to 100 coins and a 60 second cooldown. So I've actually reduced the points back to zero. Don't forget to increase it back to 100. And I've also edited it so that the cooldown is back to zero just for now. But we'll change it back in a second. So now it's ready to test. Let's go in the chat and type exclamation mark summon and then the name of any NPC. So I'm going to summon a cow. WG so Mojo summoned a cow. Been, so the cow has been summoned. There you go. The cow is now walking around. And of course, it has my username because it's showing the username of the viewer who summoned it. Again, I made a few tweaks here. So make sure you put it back onto 100 points and make sure you put it back on to a, where was it? A 60 second cooldown, which is cooldown here. And make sure you're removing points and not adding points like I just accidentally did. Then make sure it's saved. Now that's a summon command. Let's set up a give command so that the users can type exclamation mark give and then the name of an item. So I'm going to start by creating a new action and we'll name it give command. Once again, because I'm on PC, show alert. So all we're going to put is the user sent and then curly brackets comment. And you can change the color if you want. I'll quickly set it to yellow, change the font settings with the global overlay settings. I'm going to read it out loud using TTS. So curly brackets, username, sent comment, simple as that. And we now execute the command. Once again, you can copy this from the description. So the one you want to copy here is the give one diamond one from the description. There's a few things to change. Firstly, we want to change diamond to curly brackets comment. Make sure you spell it correct. Make sure you leave the one at the end. Or if you want to give them more than one, change that number. And player name needs to be changed twice here. So my player name, as per usual, is WG underscore Mojo. So just like that. And display duration, I'm lowering it to about five seconds. Then once again, I want this to cost users channel points so people can't spam it. So I am going to remove 50 channel points. And for me, I put it one coin is one channel point. So they have to send 50 coins before they can use this command. Again, if you want to add a cooldown, add a cooldown. I'm not going to add it and press save. And of course, we need to create the command. So create a new event. You could once again limit this to followers, subs, mods, top three gifters, specific users. I'll leave the command to everybody. Again, because it's already limited to people who've donated 50 coins and above. And we are commenting a command, which is exclamation mark give. Leave the level on zero and of course choose the give command and press save. As per usual, if you're on a PC, if you're using Live Studio, make sure screen one is added as a link source. 
and add screen one to OBS as a browser source. And once again, if you wanted to actually test this, you would have to change the username on the setup page here and then go test it in somebody else's live stream. Let's quickly talk about Tickfinity Pro. As you can see, if I try and create a sixth action, it says you've reached the limit of five custom actions. So if you want to set up a lot of different gifts to trigger various commands, you're going to need Tickfinity Pro. So I'm just going to press yes to upgrade. It's going to take me to the setup page and the Tickfinity Pro section. Use my affiliate link in the description to sign up to Tickfinity and it will reduce the cost of Tickfinity Pro by 20% from $19 to $15. Once you've purchased Tickfinity Pro, when you're back on the actions and events page, you will be able to create as many actions as you want. Now let's go over a few useful tips and tricks for using this. And I'm going to start with ChatGPT, which you've probably heard about before. It is a brilliant tool for so many things, and one of which is suggesting Minecraft commands to you. So I asked it for a simple one here. I said, on a paper MC server, give me the command to spawn a creeper five blocks directly above me. And it promptly just gave me the correct command. Don't take it for face value. It is actually slightly different, right? Because we have to put execute add WG Mojo run in front of that. But after the run part, the commands that chat GPT gives you should be broadly correct. So just use that to generate any ideas for any commands. Or if you're stuck, just ask chat GPT. Whenever you want to stop your server, you just go in the command and type the word stop, press enter, and it's now stopped it. And you can see on Minecraft, it has disconnected me from the game. If you want to completely reset your Minecraft server world, then all you have to do is delete the world server, world nether and world the end server. So I'm just going to delete those. And then all you do is click run.bat once again, give it a few seconds and it's going to regenerate the world for you. Once your world's regenerated, back to server list, direct connection 127.0.0.1, join server, and within a few seconds, you'll be back in your newly created world. If you're looking for personal one-on-one -on -one help from myself, then check out my Fiverr page where I'll be adding a Minecraft gig. We have a whole host of other useful gigs as well, and it's linked in the description. In the top right corner of Tickfinity, you will find a link to the Tickfinity Discord. On the Paper MC website, which I linked in the description, if you click on Contact Us, you can get a link to the Paper MC Discord as well if you're having issues with your server. Let me know in the comments how you're planning to use this. Subscribe if you found this useful. Thank you to the channel members for their support, and thanks for watching.